You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Navy here from Drake Wing Gaming. So you may on Twitter the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings. I believe we are going to be doing, I think her name is, a is it Aideen or Nadine? I cannot remember. Aideen or Nadine. We're going to be doing the Wing and Yellow Ones path, so let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up and let's go. Continue your journey, Keegan. Yep, I notice it goes right to this. Duty, Chapter 1. There's the administrator. All right, back in our house. It was all just a strange dream. I woke from uneasy dreams looking at an unfamiliar ceiling. Just for a moment, I wondered where I was before the events of last night all came back to me. After a good stretch, I looked around the room illuminated by the sunlight coming in from the window. Outside in the distance, the portal I had emerged from proudly stood on the peak of a small hill. Getting ready, I noticed something lying on the table. It was the note Remy had left for me in case I needed anything. Along with his along with his own home phone and work number, there were also some numbers for delivery of food and other necessities, as well as emergency and even janitorial services. He had certainly thought of everything, even though I now had to wonder what a dragon plumber might look like. My musings were interrupted when the doorbell rang. When I opened the door, I was met by another dragon. It's like you've seen this before. Skip to the character selection. Yes. As you wish. Bryce led me back to the apartment. I guess there wasn't really much for me to do in the meantime, as I was spared the more arduous parts of the investigation. Maybe I should have been glad about this, though now I had an afternoon to fill. Though now I had an afternoon to fill. What should I do? Um, I'm done, Remy, am I? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I order some lunch. Is that... Aideen, I believe. Okay, let's see. Is this Aideen? Um, what are some lunch? I remember that Aideen had told me that the cafe did deliveries as well. There you go. And not having and not having anything else better to do, I figured I should try it out. I made my order with a quick phone call, and it wasn't long before the doorbell rang. Well, that was quick. It just so happened that Aideen herself stood in the doorway, dripping wet with damp containers in her grip. Oh, poor girl. Invite that girl inside right now. Oh, it's you again. I thought we were over this. <laughs> I do remember your name, though. It was Keegan, right? Yeah, that's right. Here's your order. Sorry it got a little wet, but it should still be okay. There you go. Water time. Hmm. Oh, some good water. Here's your order. Sorry it got a little wet, but it should be still be okay. Thanks. I was just about to ask you if I could stay for a little while. This was actually my last delivery for the day. I live on the other side of town. Of course I could of course I couldn't let you fly back when it's this ugly outside. Looks like you've seen this before. Skip to the end of the scene. Nope. As you wish. Feel right at home. I had better eat this before it gets cold. I sat down at the table and started eating my food while Aideen decided to take a seat opposite of myself. Do you like it? Yeah, I ordered something uh, something I knew I'd actually like this time. I didn't want to make the same mistake I made earlier. Do you have something similar where you come from? Uh, we do, as a matter of fact. It's almost scary how close it is to what we have back what we have back home. Really? Maybe we'll just share a similar taste. What do you mean? Well, don't you trace your origins back to humans in some way? I know what kind of reputation we have in your culture. That is true. Let me ask you this. Where do you think the portal you found came from? Who built it? Humans did it, of course. Exactly. If you believe humans had something to do with an artifact created who knows how many years ago, it wouldn't be a stretch to think that they could also have influenced you in some other ways. Even something as simple as this dish? I like that idea. So, what do you do when you aren't working in the restaurant? Do you have a family? Well, most of the time I take care of my kids. Oh, she's a mom. Oh, man. Ooh, elf. Oh, nice. How many children do you have? 
Well, fuck. God damn it. All right, Milf Dean is canceled. Can't have that now. Fuck. All right, they aren't really my children per se. I just take care of them. You're more of a foster parent then? Not quite. These are orphan children I'm talking about. I just volunteered to spend some time with them, so I'm really more of a babysitter and teacher in all in one. Can't really take them in and care for them for 24 seven like a proper parent would. I'd love to, but I work far too much to be a single parent. With the amount of time I spend at the restaurant, I don't think the kids would be any better off, so I just help out whenever I can. It's very nice of you. Thanks, these kids already didn't get a very good hand in life. I just thought that if I can make even a small difference for them, then it'd be worth it. I see, what, what about your hobbies? Do you have any? Can I ask a question for a change? Well, I really don't know much about you. Actually, I'm not sure if there's anyone anyone here who does. Would you like to know? What did you do before you came here? Of course it is. Oh, one second, y'all. Water time. All right, y'all, and we are back. Let's jump right in, shall we? Okay. Of course it is. I suppose it's my turn again, so tell me about your hobbies. The one I enjoy most is probably flying. Just flying? Well, not just flying. I do aerobatics or stunt flying. I've been doing that on and off for a, for a couple of years now. <laughs> actually, that might not be so far from the truth. I'm actually hoping to be part of a competition in some time. I suppose that depends on whether you still will be here when it takes place. It's part of a festival we hold in this town every year. Okay, since it's my turn again, well... This might be an unusual question, so when they said it was a human that would be coming here, I kind of expected something a little different. I'm not sure exactly, but they do say it was humans that made us who we are today. You don't seem so different from us, though. I mean, yeah, you do look different from us, but you're not really anything like some of the things that, I've, that have been said about your kind. I could say the same thing about you. Really? Yeah, we have plenty of myths about dragons. Like what? <clears throat> yeah. They're often cited as a symbol of power and strength, but also one of wisdom, possessing an intellect that has no equal. They're noble creatures, and their depictions enjoy an almost universal appeal. I could get used to that, though it would be nicer if it were all true. To be honest, I don't know if it's such a good idea to generalize like that. Even if it's good things you're saying about us, we're all different, you know, and not all of us are nice. I see. But then, we have so, we have so many good things about your kind, too. Well, no matter what you might think about humans, I can assure you that I am in no way special or supernatural. I disagree with that. Why? You say that you aren't special, but just the fact that you're here with us right now is quite special to me and many others. Just try to see it the other way around. You know, you have a good point. What were you thinking when you first heard about us? I thought making a discovery like this was just awesome. Many people would love to have the opportunity I had by coming by here. You see, it's not so one-sided after all, so don't be surprised if some of us feel the same way. It's not just the discovery of you dragons. We found a portal to an entirely different world. We still haven't figured that one out. And neither have we. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. And by the way, interesting selection of books you have there. Draconic Desire, Ixamen Sphere, are these yours? No, they were already here when I moved in. Have you read any of them? I did read Sheridan and the Scepter of Sovereignty. How did you like it? Yeah. And nothing special. Which is the best one? Nothing special is a good way to describe the entire series, actually. Oh, you've got Price and Prayer. You should totally read that one. Think so? Why's that? It's not just an interesting story. It's based on true events. The author is so right when he says there's a lot we can learn from what happened back then. It is a Dean's save. Mm. Mm. <sighs> it's not just an interesting story, it's based on true events. Okay, I did read that. Okay. Check it out when I have the time. Let me know when you do. It'd be interested in hearing what you have to say about it. Alright, since you asked me since you asked about my family earlier, I'm gonna do the same thing. Is there a Mr. or Mrs. Keegan back home waiting for you? Nope, can't say there is. How about a potential Mr. or Mrs. Ke- Wait. Okay. How about a potential Mr. or Mrs. Keegan, then? 
Are you looking to date anyone? Oh, it's a shame you can't be with them now, then. Are you talking about someone you met here? Oh my! Would it happen to be someone I know? Well, who is it? I'm not sure how many questions that was, but I'm sure it's not your turn anymore. Are we even still playing this game? <laughs> you and me both. You know, why don't we make this a little more interesting while we're at it? What do you suggest? Truth or dare? What's that? We continue asking questions, but if one of us doesn't want to answer the question, we have to do something the other person tells us to. I don't even know what kind of dare would make you I would make you do. It could be something it could be something that would make me uncomfortable, or something you'd like to see me do. Anything? Well, keep in mind that revenge might be coming quicker than you think, so don't ask someone for anything you wouldn't do yourself. Got it, so who's first? You asked the last few questions, so it's only fair if I start. Alright. Hmm, I'm curious. Huh. Probably my sides. Good to know. You wouldn't misuse that knowledge, would you? Of course not. Since it's my turn now, what is your greatest wish? Be the very best to it, like no one ever was. You're the best around! I seem to be a very personal wish, Keegan. Okay, my turn. What do you do if you're invisible for a day? Invisible, huh? That's a hard one. I mean, no one would see me flying then, and I do want people to see that. Well, with this question, it's more about what do you, what would you do if you had the opportunity to do something without getting caught, like something mischievous or criminal? Oh, I know what I would do. I'd check out the building they found along the portal. What building? Didn't you hear about that? They found a whole building along with the portal. So you know. It's actually underground. They have it heavily guarded while a team of archaeologists works on it. I think it might contain many secrets and answers about the, about the portal and where it came from. Interesting. I think I'd like to check that out as well. If you knew the world was about to end, what would you do? I didn't watch the movie. Life to the fullest until the last moment. Going out with a bang, huh? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Is that your question, or is that already a dare? A question? I just couldn't think of anything better. Well, then my answer would be no. I don't kiss just anyone you know. However, if it was a dare, my answer might be different. All right, so from those you have met here so far, who's the one you fancy most? I think I'll take a dare for this one. Oh, finally. Hmm, what am I going to have you do? Whatever you like. No, I honestly have no idea. Take your time. All right, let me think for a minute. Oh, looks like it's getting late. And what time? Wait, what time is it? Oops, seems like I've been here longer than I thought. I probably should be going now. Seems like the rain has stopped too. Yeah, that's great. Anyway, if you want to invite me over again, why don't I give you my personal number and we just skip the part where you order food to make me come by? But I like the food. Or maybe I'll get your number instead, since you ordered from us. I already have it anyway. I'm not sure what to say to that. Take it as a compliment. Bye! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, let me give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate the support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Armor. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate Tier anyway. If y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to our not safe for work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.